this next person labels herself as a premium content creator. Hang on a moment. Is this not Josh? Right, hang on. His divorce is over with. He's got a little bit of money in the so bank. I also was thinking bust down. In two years time, we'll be selling him a 41 mil day just Wimbledon diet. Yeah. Today, we are matching different car owners with their watches. We've used AI to generate some images of stereotypical car owners. Using their combined 40 plus years of experience in the trade, they're going to select some watches that they think would suit these fictional characters. So, good morning, Stuart, Josh, Hendo. Good morning, How are you? Good morning viewers. The first guy I've got, and he'll pop up on screen. This is Captain Confidence, okay? He's 29 years old, works in sales. He drives a BMW M4, and he can often be found at David Lloyd Club, okay? He likes to go to the gym, pick up women, and he holidays in Mykonos. Hang on a moment. Is this not Josh? <laughs> right, hang on. If we were using AI, could we not just have put Josh's face on that? But Josh wears a root beer. You yeah. know? <laughs> I'm done now. I was going to say Hulk, but I'm sorry, I've just swung straight to root beer, and I think... Oh, so we actually went Hulk, root beer, Batman. So I think we can all agree that he's wearing a sports Rolex. Sports well, Rolex. Sport. I'll go with the Batman. The one-two reference. Well, it matches his BMW badge logo. So yeah, no, but I think the key sense. thing is here, this guy here is wearing a watch that has a nickname. So he's wearing a watch that's a Batman, a root beer, or a Hulk. I think regardless of the colour combination, he is driving the M... He's David Lloyd and he's Mick and he's probably wearing... Well, he's a, he's a superhero, isn't he? Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, that was The Bachelor, and we're going to move on. If you turn your next sheet in the deck, here we've got the midlife crisis, okay? This guy... Well, hopefully this whoa, one's... Whoa, whoa, on, this is not me. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is not me, right? I'm, I've passed my midlife crisis. So this guy, he's 45 years old, you know, he's hanging on to the youth a little bit. He's wearing the ripped jeans, the graphic tee. He's bought himself a Porsche 911 and he likes to go to the track days. He can often be found at, you know, the ski slopes if he's on a holiday or the racetrack. Is he divorced? Potentially. He's definitely divorced. Well, he will he's be by the, end of, by the end of we've done this, he'll be divorced. <laughs> he'll be wearing Palm Angels. Right. And um, what's the coloured Nike? All the different, he'll have every uh, different dunks. colour in dunks. the dunks. Yeah. Right, so he'll have pink, he'll have yellow, he'll have baby blue. Okay. Maybe a cu couple of them will be customised with felt tip pens. So um, what is on his wrist? That is uh, the question. AP. 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 I went for the 43 yeah. mil top. That's far too stylish for what he's wearing. His divorce is over with. <laughs> he's got a little bit of money in the Spend bank. The money he's now. Got he's got a little bit of money left in the bank and he's going to treat himself to celebrate. He's been... And I'm going to say the offshore carbon, but I'm also going to give him maybe five different straps because he can't make yeah. his mind up. To match the outfits. Bright red. <laughs> bright red on, on a weekend. So he's got a bit of carbon to match the carbon on his Porsche. Yeah. You know, it goes well. He's going to go with the, chunk, the chunky carbon offshore. All right, then, if you turn turn the leaf, this guy's the crypto millionaire, okay? He's 32 years old. He likes to wear full Gucci expensive designer gear, and he also sells online courses on Instagram, right? <laughs> so he's posed here outside of an Airbnb that he's rented. He drives a Lamborghini, Huracan, and he likes to holiday in Dubai. There's only one watch, shall we all say it at the same time? R R M. You reckon? <laughs> I, I also was thinking bust down. Okay, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Out there just well, it depends how far he's into, his, into yeah. his journey. If he's a few years down and he's done well, he's, he's moved up to Probably Richard. Probably wears the bus down to go and get his coffee on the morning, then takes it off when he comes back from getting his coffee with an outfit change yeah, the outfit to change. put the yellow tracksuit on, gets the strap changed yeah, yeah. on the RM. The yellow. He can change the strap yeah. with as well. Yellow so. strap. Yeah. Well, it depends how far, how far down he is with his... Uh, He's crypto millionaire lifestyle, but we'll go with Richard Mill, yeah? Richard Mill, yeah. Richard Mill. I agree. Yeah, all in, all in agreement on that one. So. All right, in stark contrast, the next guy, this guy's the moderate maverick, okay? He's a dad, 41 years old, okay? He's driving his Skoda Octavia. It is the VRS model. He wanted an RS6, but the wife said no. His hobbies, he doesn't have time for hobbies, but he can often be found at Ikea, and he likes a holiday in Tenerife. What do you reckon? Brightland for me. Yeah. Brightland. He's probably... 
Had a Breitling in his younger years, mainly a Kroner mat on a leather strap. He's upgraded to something like a Transocean Chrono. A little bit in keeping with the score. He's going practical Good with an edge. Going. Yeah, yeah. I went for that as well. So I went for Super Ocean Chronograph. Okay. Blue to match the VRS. I'll go with a non-ceramic sub. Did he have this before he was a dad or after? So this watch has been in, was in production for around 20 years, so this one potentially... 21st birthday or something like that. It could that, be maybe. a birthday watch yeah, for his birthday. child. Could be, yeah. could be, so I'll go with that. This next person labels herself as a premium content creator. This is Hendo's clientele. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's, she's 20 years old. She likes to wear a bit, you know, leggings, gym gear, maybe a bit of juicy couture. So if you check Josh's feed out on his Instagram, this, is, this, this is what he's that's following. every girl he's looked at in the last week. Right, our, our hobbies include, you know, selling dirty bath water on TikTok Live, drawing it up and selling it to some of our clients. She likes a holiday in Ibiza. She's driving an A-class Mercedes. I went for this, so it's a steel and gold, day just 36, covered in diamonds. I feel like it's a classic watch that a girl would want. Okay. Uh, that comes into a bit of money, so. Okay, well, I think she, by the looks of it, she spent her first pay packet, her first few months on a oh, on a pink on a pink Mercedes. Three, she's making three grand a day. She's yeah. buying an OP pink. Good that one. OP pink. Yeah. She's not. She's not bothered the about being over Sorry for all the classy chicks out there that are wearing OP pink, or the classy guys that are wearing OP pink. She looks quite classy though. Or maybe it's a little day. Just depends how far yeah. she is down her. A progression with our only fans, but maybe a little 26 mil day, just two tone, an older one. We've got the digital nomad, right? He lives in his van, okay? He doesn't, no, nobody knows. It's not behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this could be our cameraman. Nobody knows how old he is, that's the thing, right? Nobody knows. He's, he likes an adventure with his dog. As I say, he lives in his van and he has a YouTube channel where he tells his audience about how to live in a van, a digital lifestyle, right? Hang on a minute. I've got a 1989 VW camper van. All right. I've just dropped my sister's dog back off this morning. This, so you're saying mm, this is what your no, beard used to look is, like? This is what, when my beard did used to look like that, but I, I'm feeling it a little bit, and I've got a real curveball for you with this one. Well, he, li he likes a holiday in the lakes, you know Yeah, yeah. So I've got something. a really, really Not cool peeled, watch, yeah. and it's a Nomos glass shoot. So a fantastic... Uh, watch brand, that's what he will be wearing. He's practical, mm -hmm. he's in the lakes with his walking boots on. No more. So, so you've went German vehicle, German, German watch. German watch, yeah. Oh, God, oh, not, we're going to have a debate about German, German Swiss. Swiss. Not German Swiss. Not, not German Swiss. I'll give him the Seamaster okay. 300. Mm -hmm. um, but on a NATO strap, so watch for around 4K. Yeah, so I'll give him this one. Pretty cool watch. Yeah, okay, I like the little bit of customization because that's what he's into on his vehicle. I went for this, so it's a Rolex Mulgaus, 116400GV. Okay. I feel like it's just quite an enthusiast watch. And it's not for everyone, and I feel like this man here knows exactly what he wants. And It's a Mulgaus. Yes, exactly. Right, this next guy, he's 19 years old, he's the boy racer, okay? It's Billy. It's Billy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got a job, he's just got a job working offshore, right? He's got a Ford Fiesta ST. His hobbies are making people aware of his presence around the local streets. He can often be found in McDonald's car park as well, and he likes a holiday in Magaloff. I went for this Tag Heuer Formula One. I feel like it's an absolute classic. A well-known brand. Watch, well known brand. You're 19 years old, you're getting a Tag Heuer for your first watch, so that's what I would choose. <sighs> yeah, that's an entry level. I'm sort of feeling. Quite an expensive little car he's got going on there. I'm thinking... Yeah, maybe but he's on his monthly payments. He's maxed out. True, but yeah, he's, he's got a little bit of uh, Chucky on his watch as well. Okay. He's either going Tudor Black Bay or he might have splashed out with the Amiga. So I'm going so Tudor his watch is a little yeah. bit then. I'm thinking he's a, he's a customer of the future. He's, he's just starting to earn and he's spent three grand on either... Uh, Tudor mm -hmm. or a second hand Amiga. And what do you reckon, Stu? Well, I think these clients, are, from what Hendo said, are, are, are brilliant clients to get to begin with because it's, it's probably at the start of the journey. Yeah. Um, and you're going to see them progress through the years. So I'll go with the Breitling Colt. Okay. Yeah, for around two and a half grand, Breitling Colt. It's got a good two brand years, recognition. And in two like years' it. time, we'll be selling them a 41 mil date just Wimbledon diet. Yeah. The next guy, okay, this is the tech geek, okay, he's 26 years old, he's a bit of a tech wizard, he's a programmer, and he loves his electric car, he drives a Tesla, right? He can often be found replying to YouTube comments, and he also likes to work out of a coffee shop. 
Um, obviously, the first thing that springs to mind is you'd be wearing an apple. But maybe for his daily, but let's let let's let's stick with him. Let's try, him him on on try and give him a little bit of cred. Yeah. So let's bring him in. I mean, I've got a real curveball, and I've gone for the sort of techie. It's the Monaco, okay. but it has the reverse reverse or dial. It's got a party it's trick. Digital. It's got a party trick. So I'm just chucking a curveball in. This just happens to be available for sale in store. There's a little bit of a plug. Like that. Okay, Josh, what do you reckon? I went for an Explorer 1, 36mm. I think it's very simple. It's obviously the newer style with the newer clasp. It's got an appreciation for quality. Exactly, but yeah. Understated. It's very plain and simple, understated. Stealthy watch. It's exactly what I think you would be wearing. And I think this time I'll go for the Black Bay 54. 37 millimeter. I like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great size yeah. for a lot of people now. Okay. I'll do, I think, yeah. I think yeah. That's appreciates a, a bit of classic style. I think that's a watch for him. Okay. This next guy, is a member of the, the senior squad. He drives a, a Jag XJ. Okay, he's 65 years old. Likes to spend his time at the golf club and uh, holidaying in the south of France. Nice. Looks like a chap who's got a little bit of money to me. Whether he likes to spend it or not, I'm not too sure. I think, I think maybe, for me, I think he's gonna be a guy who has had a watch for quite a number of years. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go with, my choice would be, maybe this classic, day date, 36 millimeter, presidential strap in yellow gold. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. That's what I'm gonna give him. Well, I, I was thinking two watches, so I originally thought maybe the Breitling, but I've changed my mind, and I think we don't have one here, but a, a pre-ceramic blue kit sub. Yeah. From like 80s, 90s, okay. that he's had for a long time. I've got him wearing, and he bought it brand new. He has changed his Jag many times, but stayed with the same watch. Uh, Pre-Rolex Zenith Daytona, so pre-1999, 2000. He's had it from new, and he loves telling people at the golf club how much the watch was and how much it's worth today. I can see that. I can so see that. What would that be? What would be the So this difference? watch, when it was new on leather, would have been around about the £6,000 mark. So like 1999. In the height in 2020, 2021, these were hitting £40,000. They're now around about the twenty five grand mark. I don't think he'd be telling people that he didn't sell it at 40. I think he'll just be telling them what it's keeps worth. Keeps that one quiet. Yeah, yeah, keeps that one quiet. Okay, this next fella, he would be branded maybe as a pharmaceutical dispenser, okay? He's 28 years old, likes his designer gear. His hobbies are, you know, hanging around nightclubs, and uh, that's why you'll often find him, and he likes a holiday in Marbella. Gotta be rose gold uh, root beer for me. Okay, well, well, he likes a Range Rover Sport, you know what I mean? He likes a bit of status. That's what I went for. Full yellow gold, 40 mil sub. Okay, so he likes he likes to let people know. Very flash, well. yeah, exactly. Okay. Also gonna be down on the full gold Rolex models, but I'll go with the the Sky Dweller. Okay. The chocolate he, dial he's sky definitely dweller. The opposite of stealth wealth. Chocolate Adam. sky dweller, yellow gold sub and a root beer. Root beer. Yeah. Good Rolex. choices. And if he's doing well for himself, he might have all three. Hey, you never know, you never know. Right, right then, this guy's the mediocre mathematician. Oh, okay. He's 45 years old, okay, he's an accountant. Smart dresser, dapper dresser, and he can be found at Waitrose, like you say, but he likes a holiday in Venice, okay? He's driving a Toyota Corolla, so sensible guy. Wait, if he's an accountant, he's 45, he's, he's probably still gonna have a little bit of money. Oh, he's doing very side, well. But he he's, just doesn't he's, like spending it, he's, he's an accountant. Actually, he's, you know, he's got his investments, he's, he's, his car's not his B, be all and end all by the looks of it. Be Yes. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd say he's chartered, so yeah. put it that way. <laughs> um, so the fact that you've mentioned he likes to holiday in Venice, I can just see him sitting in Venice, drinking a cappuccino and wearing an Amiga moon watch. What do you reckon? I went for the plain non-date. 41 millimetre sub, black ceramic. Very sensible. So like it's that. it's a sensible watch. I feel like he's a man that will have one watch for the rest of his life because he doesn't really care too much about watches. But he said, his son's probably said, this is what you need, it's a classic watch. So he bought it and that's the end of the conversation. Fair enough. I think, I think both of them are good choices, but um, I might go with uh, the Black Bay Chrono Panda. Okay, yeah. 41 millimetre. Oh, he might have picked it up at the airport, he might have got himself a good deal, that's the only reason that he bought it, yes. potentially. Or if he came to watch straight, he could buy it underneath RRP. That's RRP is like four, 4,550. 
We'll sell it for like so, four. So, so this guy, because he's so sensible, he doesn't believe in paying over retail, but he likes the, he likes the Panda Daytona, yeah, it's but a that's so, the it's sensible a, choice. It's a sort after watch, and it can be bought a little bit under, under retail, yeah. so it's a good one. I like that angle. Thank you very much, everyone. Great. As usual, guys, if you do enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing oh. even. Can we also say, guys, in the comments, let us know your choices. Let us know your thoughts. Yeah, let us yeah. know if you think we've got it right or if we've yeah. got it terribly um, wrong. Let's see how many people agree with us that the first guy was really Josh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I had those clientele is only fans, girls, 20 years. <laughs> right, on that note, we'll see you in the next one.